Hello, hello, oh, hello, hello, cams don't work. Cam works, cam doesn't work. Well, that's a stupid cam. That's not the camera that it's supposed to select. That ain't the camera it's supposed to select either, but you know, that was one angle. Oh God, malfunctions, malfunctions. It's my new, the new Obscura shirt. That's pretty cool. But you know, that ain't what I'm trying to go for here. I'm trying to write some code, not show you my t-shirts because you could buy your own t-shirts. All right, today, a little pretzel tunes going on here. Bloop. So, what is going on today? What is going on today? Today, that's loud, right? If that's loud. Let's go down to about right here. I think that's good. You could probably hear that if anybody is listening. Anybody out there listening is hearing me sing stupid songs. Okay. Anyway, what, what do I have here? What I have is a few things that I'm going to get started with here in just a second. As we see, no Docker container running. Just follow me here. I'm going to do this kind of fast. So I have a sample database here that I'm going to do a Docker compose up slash D. So that's going to run a Docker container for me which there is now a single node of Apache Cassandra running on a Docker container. Pretty straight up, I guess. Anyway, that is this thing over here. So let's see here, I can, yep, there's my BetterBots repo, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so fancy pants. It's there, there's a database, we know there's a database. It has a schema. So now I'm gonna run my Cassie Utility schema command which is, where'd my schema command go? Yeah, oh, Cassie schema. I renamed it Cassie schema because I was gonna have a schema for something else, but this this actually needs renamed. Real quick, a little sidetrack. I'm gonna refactor, rename, and just rename this schema because I don't have the other schema. And now it maps to what this command actually is, schema command. I'm using Golang Cobra. So if you're not familiar with Golang Cobra, go check it out. All you gotta do is type Golang Cobra in Google and it's gonna point you right at the repo. Super great CLI framework, tooling, etc., cetera, for building, building CLIs in Go. Um, so then right off the bat, I have a host, host that I'm collecting, username and password from configuration. And then it goes through, grabs the key space, the table and the columns of the database goes through, prints them out a certain way, da 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 and then it does a final ioutil.write file of the database-schema.json, that's the file name, of all this stuff that I put together in an object, deserialized, or, or unmarshaled, as you say in Golang, uh, into this file, and the database schema file ends up right here. So there we go, you can see the database schema file there. So that's all lovely and beautiful. There's this other one that I'm doing. I'm generating some types off of that. And I'm doing that for some JSON types to infer into types for JavaScript for other models and stuff. Like let's say you're use, using a GraphQL server or whatever. Um, and these types, let's see, that's that bit, um, have templates that I'm resolving them off of. Here's a template for a type where it has a name, scalar type, and if it's required, it'll put a bang at the end or not. Basically like if true, do this thing, else end, don't do not do that thing, right? Like do nothing. Um, so that's what that is. And then I'm over here writing the command types here. So now, let's see, what is this fuzzy line for? Oh, does it have a, yeah, it do, 
It has two... Two things. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to ignore that for now. I'm just going to call it. And this should... This type should, based on it having that file there... Oh wait, file path, types.json... Type There's the template file here. Type.tl. File path, open file path, process it right. And so this is going to be... Um, Ah, oh, there we go. Database schema.json. So, and if things aren't in place, it needs to basically execute the schema. So let's say this isn't here. Delete. This needs to execute command, um, no wait, schema command dot. Actually, it needs to execute schema command, period. Uh, so, huh? Do I just do schema command dot run? I guess I could do that. So maybe this. Um, schema. run is so I don't have any I don't really have anything that I need to pass into it so maybe here I do what do I pass that into it and then nothing can I do that? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Is that gonna work? So let's run that and see. So I deleted, oh, I didn't delete the database schema. What is this fussing about? Oh, nil pointer. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't give a nil to a pointer. Um, what you call it, right? So, oh, I know what I need to do then. Let's go make schema actually all this stuff needs to be extract a method build schema boom that's what we need beautiful okay so then I'm just gonna test out the schema delete that Oh wait, I don't, let's, let's make sure. So delete this. Is it, what? No, just, ah, delete. Don't, don't, just delete it. There we go, okay. So it is gone. Run. Boom, okay, and it is back. Sweet. Let's add that, actually, database schema to the git ignore, because I don't really want to check that in. Database. Schema. Whoa, WTF with my file here. Ugh. Let's do this. File, new, ignore file, git ignore. This is a cool plugin for Golang. Goland, I mean. So where is. Go, go, go. A, B, C, D, F, G, G. Go. There we go. So I'm just going to take that, actually, and go and put it in here. And there's no vendor directory, because it's doing the vendor ring. And yep, don't need that stuff, don't need that, don't need that. OK, that's cool. So there, so now I can delete this. And now let's make sure build schema and types. We need to build schema. Executing this, whoops, executing this ensures that there is a database 
schema.json file available. Um, whoops, I did that. I didn't want to do that. So let's, let's delete this again. Change this over to types. The types command. Oh, shit, what's this nonsense about? It's in. Okay, not, not seeing what's happening here. So let's go to, go to decoration. What am I doing? Cassandra.off details. Got that. Split, ignore, ignore key spaces, then off details, ignore list. It's from a git string. Can I get to that, I wonder? That's another thing I want to do. Let's edit this config. So this I'm passing program arguments, but on this one I don't actually pass environment arguments. So I need to pass them like that. See here I just have environment variables actually. So let's not. Let's, uh, Is that what the environment variables are? <laughs> um, schema. And let's do this. Schema. Where is my, oh, here it is. Oh. Okay, so I added that. Localhost. And then this one. Let's see, I'm gonna remove this too. No more environment variables. Yeah. So, uh, so that's fixed. That one's fixed. And then this one is, I don't even know. Oh yeah, this. And then let's do this. Let's go back and Refactor the things, okay. Okay, we need to go back into command, root, and then get my head out of the way too. Sorry about that. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. I just realized that crazy shit. Um, all right. Oh, hold on. I left my drink clear across the room. Damn it. All right. Give me give me 5 seconds here. Okay, um, all right, get my drink. Give me a minute here. Ah, okay. Some very tool sounding type of stuff here. Marrow, like bone marrow. <laughs> Dirt. Um, all right, so. Now I got sticky drink shit on my hand. Damn it. Twitch streaming is hard, y'all. Okay. 
So this is blowing up because of some reason. So let's, let's hear it. Let's go through each of these though. So this one works. Oh, that one doesn't work. Oh, that's right. It doesn't work anymore because um, we need to go to root. We need to go down here. And then this stuff. So, oh yeah, how do I? All right, infer flags all over the place. So, wait, those, put those there. I'm going to take those. No, 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 don't delete the file. I'm trying to delete the white space. There we go. All right. And oh, I should have used the move refactor. So then root, come in here, init, boom. Take these things, then init flags. And I need to take this out, because this is not not in there anymore. I don't need those, because not using environment variables anymore. Reading in configuration file. Uh, do I even have a configuration file, really? Yes, because I have the ignore list in there. Let's do this. Let's take Cassie YAML. Oh, and there's my hosts. Let's take that out, too. There's the ignore key spaces. And I'll put other config, we'll get other configuration in there, I'm sure. So anyway though, this is in now. And yeah, there we go. Yeah, those silly variables now will be available everywhere. So let's do this. Okay. And then, oops, I need to go back into root. And I got I got that messaging that I do around these things. So let's hear username and da 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 da. Let's do this. Username, yep. Password, yep. Uh, if that that okay. Actually, let's do this. Username, password. Yep, okay, and then database host, host, Piper dot, no, nope, that's not in there anymore either. Let's go with host. Oh, uh, again, let's change that. Let's put it here to hosts. Uh, ignore key spaces. Yep, that is pulled from the configuration file, so that's going to use Viper dot get and string. And everything else, okay, so let's run that. What undefined database host? Where's my aha? Now I should just run. Oh dear goodness. Invalid memory and no such host. Right. So why not? Docker PS? Did it blow up? No 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 no. It's there. Possible host is string. Passing host equal local host. Password name, username, and Cassandra. What? Configuration file, the config, uh, oh, less than one, oh yeah, the host, the host needs to be set to the database host value, okay, that's connection host, right, and then username password, and that's username password not set, okay. Oh, right, right, right. So, root, 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 config. 
right, but where is... Oh yeah, yeah, let's take take this out. That doesn't need to run. There we go, okay. So there is the base Cassie command. Then... Oh, and does it print out all this stuff? really need to have, well, whatever. We're going to figure it out. Oh, shit. I'm doing the wrong thing here. Root command. Let's add it to the actual command. And that other thing, that other change I made shouldn't even make a difference. I do like that there, though. Yeah, so no such flag, username, password, host, reading, configuration, file that, da, da 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 And there's our ignore list. Alright, there we go. There we go. So then though, does let's see let's try schema. Okay, got okay, that working. Let's go to auth details though. I want to go to the declaration. And we're going to actually go hosts. What? What the foobar? Package Cassandra schema. Oh, auth details. Auth details is Oh, snap. Okay, that's in that other project that I pulled. Okay. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, cast schema. I feel like I should do a Twitch stream on that. As if anybody's paying attention.
All right. Uh, what am I doing here? Um. Next thing's next. I need some scrollers to do. Yeah, that's what I need is some scrollers to give a direction on stuff. Hmm. Wonder how that would. I feel like I should write a hack for that. Anyway, whatever. So that's in there. So then maybe I can do infer. And then that, whoa, what happened? Oh yeah, got this jump going on again. So, oh, let's do, a refactor on that. God, that's nasty. I don't need that everywhere. So let's do this. And then these bits. needs to go to helper. flags. That almost seems like during this init of flags we just run. Oh we just do this. Our auth details which is auth okay, auth details. And auth details down here becomes auth details dot username. Password and hosts. And then that that doesn't need to be there at all. Deleting code. So many great delete gifts. Does that even need that passed in anymore? That's the other question. So let's go to declaration. And this is going to be done like this. No. <laughs> Everybody. You're here just in time for code deleting. So I just made this uh, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, bald, bearded builder. I like that you changed your nick to that. I, I don't know if it's easier. Bald, bearded 
builder, kind of similar to a blog post I want to write where I'm like getting glitchy with glitch or glitting, getting glitchy glitch, you know, with the, the glitch app stuff. Robots could have yet, yeah, dude. You know, I even thought of you when I started deleting this code because I swear you're you're one of the first persons that's ever said that exact statement to me. I think it was the best code I ever wrote was the code I deleted. Pretty sure that was you. I am not myself. Vinny Code, hello. Daredevil, uh, oh, oh, you have more name. Hold on, let me, let me actually look at chat instead of my weird monitoring stream. Um, where'd my browser go? I've lost my browser. Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Mary J. Stabler, hello. Retro CRT, hello. Vinny Code. Like the Yoda, that's badass. Electric Havoc. Good to see you. And of course, bald, bearded, bearded. Wait, so is that like the auto response now? The best code is deleted code? Deleted code is the best code? Variations on that? <laughs> hey, Ancient Coder, how are ya? Um, I'm not myself. So, uh, I don't know if I light candles. Light, light them. I don't know. I don't know. Is this a new thing? Are you like sending out candles? <laughs> you. Mary just Stabler, thank you for the follow and welcome to the Wash Brit. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Just mostly because, like, I'm, I'm not. I don't. I don't have candles. The last time I lit a candle, I think I burned down a multi-story building. Kershock, thank you for the follow. And as always, welcome to the pit. I gotta get like a. Oh, I just realized something. My. So it says. Such such follow diving into the thrash code pit. Welcome to the code, my my friend. But it cuts off the letters, and it doesn't show. The damn, I have a little animated gif dude that's like thrashing and stuff, and it doesn't show that guy anymore. I gotta get my stuff fixed. Ah. Forget code maintenance. You get Twitch maintenance. So yeah, what I just did was, I'll show everybody real quick. So over here in root, I went down to the root level. I yanked out some YAML config. Hey, so that's a big plus too, right? You yank out some YAML configs, because if you can reduce the YAML to nothing, then perfect, right? So I had host and some other stuff in here, um, but now they have to be passed into the command because it's kind of better security practice with a CLI command to have the things it needs passed that can be directly passed from like a vault or some type of secure mechanism instead of them just written in a plain text config file like YAML. So the only thing I do have in the YAML is this ignored key spaces, which is like ignore these databases in a database. That's all this is. Like, I don't want to look at the system scheme. I don't want to look at system auth. None, none of these special things. I don't want to look at any of that stuff. I only want to look at like user based databases. That's, that's all I want. So I got rid of those things. And I went in here and I set these flags to take in those params, which is username, password, and hosts. Hosts is basically like the IP of the database or something like that. So I got all those put there, and then I was like, oh, well, what I could do is I could just take my auth details object that I pass around, or struct, I'm sorry, I'm using, I'm writing go right now, so it's not really an object, it's, it's a struct. Uh, it's got three values, username, password, and host, exactly like that. I was doing this like whole thing where I got all this stuff, and then I had a function that assigned the values for this stuff for each function based on the global parameters. I was like, this is ridiculous, I have, I have one, global with all this stuff in it so just, i'm just gonna put that everywhere so then i started going through some and i was like wait a second i'm passing auth details around all these other functions like get key spaces tables blah 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 i don't need to do that like those those things are now there in the code so like what is this fuss about oh this isn't in here so i guess in here this isn't in my code so over here though yeah so build cluster schema let's see go to declaration Oh, this is in the db.go file, which is in a completely different project, which is totally publicly accessible out here. 
Wait, no, it's not on that one. It's on... Why doesn't it... Well, I guess there's not a real easy way. Any, anyway, it's on github.com slash adrian slash schema is what it is. So that's what I'm doing, is I'm just yanking out that from some places where I don't need to... Like, I guess I need to pass cast the details into there because that library, which is just a library again, assumes that you're passing it all the things that it needs. Kind of like this CLI. So it already sort of follows that mindset. That's what I did. So I yanked out a bunch of code just now for that. Um, let's see here. So infer... I think that'll work now. No, it doesn't work. So I have a... Root dot... Yeah, root dot no. Where's... Did I not pass them? So in... In Goland, what you do is you can do the program arguments here. So this is infer, and it's got... Oh, weird. Is it not... No, 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 that should work. So, in one situation, I pass them just as username, password, and host like this, right? And then in schema, I pass them like this, with the long, the long form flags. Okay, and then in infer, I'm doing the same thing. Whoops, I'm doing the same thing there. I just hit a button and like other shit went all over my screens. That's there we go. How's the, I'm not sure if you're still there. Uh, this IDE is uh, Goland. It is the Goland JetBrains IDE. I do loves it. Uh, bald bearded builder. I don't know why I had to say that so slow, but I do. How's the new gig? How you doing with all that jazz? Seems like it's been treating you well. Okay, what? Root. Root is right here. Don't tell me I gotta. I shouldn't have to set that for every damn thing. Like, if I go into types, I have those. And... Right? Jim. Add command, right? And blah, 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 blah. blah. I don't, I'm missing something, I'm doing something wrong here. Oh, this is, oh, because I'm doing this old shit here. Lock details does not need to be that. That's why that one's breaking. So this needs to be this. Lock details, and let's put a space in there. Space, just because it's a little nicer to read, so I'll cram together. Oh, and there's my, there's this thing, right? Cassandra schema? Do I want it written out like that? It doesn't need to be that. How about if we just do this? Come on. Don't be ridiculous. Then cast schema follows the convention, so then I do that. that. What? What? Oh yeah, because that's the namespace in it. Or the, the package. The package of the Go thing is that. Yeah, it's a JetBrains product, and if, if it did feel slightly different, it's probably because I'm using the material theme, which I highly suggest. It's super nice. Um, and no, I don't give people the ability to change my themes because I'm doing something here. <laughs> but I know Bald Bearded Builder has that on point. Like you can do the hot dog theme. Everybody do the hot dog theme all the time. I want to see how long it is before he's like, nah, 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 nobody's doing this, this anymore. This is crazy. <laughs> All right, so infer still. Whoa, what? Oh, oh, oh. Why do the other ones work? Details dot username, right? And off details dot password. I feel like it, it missed the boat on something there. Off details dot host. And then, why does this bus Oh, because I have it right here in the middle of the, the damn thing. Um, auth details.host. Can I do that? Yeah, that should work. Okay, there it goes. So it founds the inferred relationships right there. Okay, so that's command is working. 
ut utility is working, right? And then, yeah, username, password is set. Connected host is local host. That's what I want to see. Then schema still spits out this dealio. Yep, that looks good. All right. So then I want to get to types. Let's run that again. Types called. Sweet. You didn't blow up, which means something ain't even executing because <laughs> I don't think it was working. Anyway, so here we go. Okay. Pulls in, looks for the database schema file. And if that ain't there, let's do this build schema. Can I do that this, this way now? Let's see if types will work or if it nukes. It nukes. So. What is the complaint? So types, I'm still passing it in, right? I'm still passing in the values. Even though do I? Because I'm actually using local stuff. So I just assume the file is there. So if I get the schema, the schema works, then I can do these other parts. So I don't really need to, I don't need to even pass that in for these. So let's go into types and nuke that stuff. Good. Let's see what happens. Required flags. Okay, so it is. Yeah, I do require it still. So that, at least I know that's working. So then if that happened, types called. Why is it working that time but not? Oh, let's go look and see if it's doing. Is it just working now? Snapples. It's it's doing the types off the database, but uh, something's up. So let's see. I got an initial brace, but I don't have. I feel like I also should pass in what I'm pulling those types off of. See type template. And the type template here. So I'm just passing in those three things. And those look those look right. Let's look at it. So yeah, ones that are required, it's putting a little bang at the end. String type and then the name. So that's correct. Then the type is the table name. Which is keys key space and then the actual table name with no dot in between. Thinking maybe actually, let's do let's do this. Shows how easy it is to oh wait, name. How am I building the name? I'm building the name in here. Not in the template. Oh that changes things a little bit because I'll need to do execute and template, execute, template. So the templates execute, it's a the the object is ran against the template and it's executed by passing that into the, uh, the, the file here, which is opened. It's created if it doesn't exist, right? What is this mess? Oh, that's, it blows up if it doesn't exist. If, if the folder and name doesn't exist, otherwise it should create it, it should be okay. Um, anyway, it's a file stream, writes into the file and closes it at the end. So if this is, okay, type, name, graphical object name. Oh, process key space, refactor, no, let's go to declaration. There we go, so process key space, and here I'm putting together The name, it should, it's like the name and the thing, and the key space name. Key space name, Cassandra at key space dot name. Cassandra key space dot Cassandra tables, and for each of those, go through, get the objects, objects that graphical object, Cassandra table dot name. Oh, here it is, right there. 
so this should just be, oh, let's do this. Um, even though, yeah, that's what I'm going with, because I don't, I don't want people, like, tweaking out the, the thing. That should, uh, even though that should be in the template, it really should be in the template, I think. So let's go, let's go to objects, Cassandra, there we go. It's our graph cool field, object is the name, and then the properties, field, okay. So let's do name, name, prefix, string. And this should be the, this should be the key space. This should be the name of the table. That's that's not super intuitive, but nah, I don't want to do that either. Can I just comment like this? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Um, there. Comments in code. I don't do that that often. Um, I'm more of a write comments in readme.md files. The code needs to just yeah. Anyway, not really debating that. Um, if you hate my code, let me though know though because. I would love to know that you hate my code. I don't know if I'm going to do anything about it. Because I'm getting shit done and it works. But I would love to know if you have a complaint. Because if I do write code for you, I'd like to make you happy about the code that you get from me, Adrian Hall. Otherwise, I might just send you some metal and you can just listen to that shit. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so that's... Fix, sorta. I need to go back in though, which I just screwed up. Go in here, and then the other one was, what did I just call it? Name prefix? So let's do that. Let's do boom, 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 and then dot name prefix, like that. And then in here, we're gonna put the underscore, and then over here, that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna go into, okay, those, those things are there, the types. So this is a clusterfuck because I don't have any closing braces, types. Um, where did I just add it? Well, let's look in the whole thing. I don't think I added a lot of these. Yeah, go to, go to this. There we go. So this... Oh, shoot. I didn't need to do... I didn't need to do that at that level. I needed to do... Ah, uh, I screwed it up. Screwed it up, y'all. Okay, go back in here. This, nope. This needs to go here, yep. That needs to go away. This needs to be added like that, okay. So that's right, so it's on the graphical object, not on the other thing. So, okay, so that's done. So then here, we're gonna do name, and then graphical object dot name prefix equals keys, base name. And then this is just going to be this, and then it can be set in the in the thing that we just did, in the template that is. Um, but is it going to be set there? Let's go back to the where's the templates? There's the templates. So that yeah, it's not actually going to go there either. That just that's right. So what we need to do is do the. Oh, how do you write an iterative spot in a template like that? So anyway, types. And here. Ah, there we go. We need. Okay. So that's. How do you do that? Let's let's do some googling. We need to do some googling around that. Template repeating section. That's probably not the right keywords. Yeah, so then. Right, that's what I want. And then actions. Oh, here we go. Pipeline, if pipeline. So the same as we would print it. Oh, yeah, okay, not pipeline. What? Value of the pipeline must be an array slice for channel. Eh. What? Pipeline. Yeah. What the? F 
That's an if else change. And this is the value of the pipeline that's been array slice map for channel. If the value of the pipeline is length zero, dot is unaffected and t zero is executed. Otherwise, dot is set to the successive elements of the array slice or map and t one is executed. Uh, what? So I think let's go with this the value of the pipeline must be so it is. Nothing is output. That's that's what I want right there. So if there's things in here, do this thing. So okay, and then we just follow normal template stuff. That seems really straightforward, sort of. Let's get back to that. All right. So in here, so we need a we need a different template. Then. We need type, but then. This is in here, I think. All right, let's hear it. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And then a new line, I think. And then here, though, we need to go one, two, and then type, but no, wait. Pre name prefix. Um. Underscore dot name. And then, oh yeah, let's put, we need type. Type, like that. And then, just open parens, yeah. Open parens. And then down here, after all that, close parens. So that theoretically should work for this thing. That's going to be a mess, though. Is that even... Probably not right, but... Yeah. Yeah, like, what is... What the heck even? So I shouldn't have to loop through that. I should be able to do... This, so... Wait, how do I... Where do I get a template error.execute? Wait, where... Where am I getting my template? Oh, here it is. Type. Right? And this is some crazy shit that should go here, I think. So let's do graph cool object. Oh yeah, and then for each one of those, that happens. Oh, that's gonna get weird. So let's This check. Boom. All right, so I need to do the nesting right in the, in the whatever the temp, the template. All right, helper. Oh, it blew up. Yeah, of course it did. Types. So what I'm passing in is a graphical object. Object. In each graphical object here, a graphical object has properties which are graphical fields. So I'll do so the graphical object pieces are dot name prefix dot name. So that should be right on the template, right? Dot name prefix and dot name. But then there's this bit. Let's let's actually do this. Types called, so, and this is, that is correct. That's, well, <laughs> it's mostly correct. Let's do, let's see if we get the end one and that. Okay, so let's do, oh, new line, wait, comma, and then a new line. Does that work? Yes, that works. But then we need stuff in here. So that's where this comes in. All right, so name is then, so is it like dot properties name?
Oh, range. Wait, how did how did that work? Range pipeline T1. Probably the pipeline must be an array. Oh, pi pipeline. Yeah. So pipeline is dot properties. Okay. And then this stuff in here can be like it was. Actually, let me do that. that, that. This is dot properties. And that one doesn't need to be there. Maybe. And then what do we get? Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. Okay, I don't need to know if I need this. Commas. Okay, that last space is unnecessary. So let's do this. Boom. What beauty do we have? Yep, okay, I'm loving that. All right, that's that's working. Hell yeah. What is this like pop metal stuff? Oh, it's kind of cool though. Yeah, kind of cool. Y'all like that? Sure could use something heavier. Okay, going with my vote. That sounds like, that's, there's so many build up songs that like take five minutes to build up. It's kind of funny. All right, so anyway. Um, I don't know if I actually need, I don't know if I need the Thomas, the Thomas, the commas, the commas. I don't know if I need the commas. And I don't know if underscores is the best idea. idea. But what's cool is I can just change that in the template now. So let's get rid of that comma. And this, I'm just gonna do that. Keep it straight up. And yeah, yeah, look at that. That is, okay, no. Weird, why did it, what did I just do? Do I, I do that. So just one space again. Try that again. And then boom. Yeah, it puts it in there, but then we got this this annoying thing. Oh, does that mean it just needs this then? Ah, oh, that worked, okay. Little f funny though. Oh, oh, so let's do one, two. That makes it easier to see here too, which is good. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. That's exactly what I want. Okay. So generation one, using the, using templates. That's how you use a template in Go Go Lane. All right, so we got types going on. And we need to do one for... Let's see, how do we get a... Types, whoops, let's go up here. Stuff. I hate that it refers its own libraries that way. That really pisses me off. <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So now, theoretically, this is types. I'm doing resolvers. Resolvers should be the same junk, right? But we need to change to resolver. Which is gonna be crazy, Octopod. Oh, 
Oh, I put all that in there. That is freaking hilarious. That's not where I wanted it at all. I mean, I guess that's that's where it works because it's got to init for that function, right? But that is where it needs to be. <laughs> oh god, that cracks me up so much. What? Come on. All right, what are the choices? I can't. I can't do that. Like, why does my freaking key not work? No, I want the freaking. I want this. Yeah, text template. I don't want HTML. Thank you. All right. Okay. So now let me do So I got all the types. But now I need to do a query based off of that and then the schema which would be like Oh it really shouldn't it shouldn't be query. This should be named schema. There we go. All right, cool. So on that note, next thing's next. I have to jump into a meeting because that's how things go. So everybody have fun. It's a cool little bit of thrash code. Bald, builded, bearded, bald, bearded builder. Thank you for the raid. I'm not myself. Have a blast. Electric Haven, Havoc. Sorry, Electric Havoc. Mary Jo Stabler, Ancient Coder. Uh, who else joined? Um, oh, I know somebody else joined. Vinny Code, Vinny Code, right? Vinny Code with the Yodas. Um, and then who else? I know I'm missing somebody. Okay, I'm gonna look at this. Daredevil Ops. Dare, I, I like your Nick. That's a good one. Thank you all for joining. Oh, Retro CRT. If you were in there too, appreciate it. Great raid, good stream, got some shit done. Really appreciate it. Y'all have a blast. In the meantime, happy thrashing code, and I will catch y'all next time.